Gordon, it's good to have you out here. Um, so just a little bit of background. This is a, the 130 acre uh, Garden City Research Kansas research farm. 85% of the trials that we run out here on this research farm are for drought execution, characterization, and product advancement. Our target here is to generate a 50% ET replacement and target flowering stress. At this Garden City Research Facility, how long have you guys been testing the, the drought tolerant form? In terms of Aquamax development and implementing additional uh, infrastructure and uh, tools, we really started to ramp up the drought screening project back in 2009 through 2010, which eventually led up to our inaugural launch of the first Aquamax products, I believe in 2012. So when we're talking Aquamax, what qualifies that hybrid as an Aquamax and just what makes that a more durable hybrid selection? So answer the first part of that question, what, what qualifies an Aquamax hybrid? So the first thing that, 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 go, that goes into that is a period of years testing. So we have to test these products over a period of three to four years in multiple environments under multiple stress uh, conditions to build that data set to make that decision. And it's a very strict regimen. And so for example, typical research locations across North America, we may test up to a hundred different sites for small plot testing. And then you throw in impact testing and that, that, that grows exponentially to 500 some sites. Out of that 500 some sites of impact testing, we may only qualify a fraction of those, say 10% that would fall into that category of being the right environment for stress for us to make the decisions that those things meet Aquamax. So first, that's the first part of the question, extensive environmental testing. Once we build that data set, um, those Aquamax products have to perform um, better than our current commercial check package. It's not one specific trait that makes a product Aquamax. It's really a combination of multiple things. Um, shorter stature, um, a vertical root penetration versus lateral root penetration, uh, more aggressive silking dynamics when the, the crop is flowering and it's pushing silks out, the ability to continue to push those silks out through uh, extreme stress. Um, the leaf area, the size of the leaf area on the plant drives, plays into the drought tolerance of a product as well. So guys, if a producer wanted to come down here and look at what you guys have going on, how accessible is this research facility for them? Actually, the research center is, is open um, to our sales reps. It's open to a uh, producer such as yourself. Um, we are quite interactive with our local sales team and supporting them in, in terms of their product knowledge, uh, tours, um, terms of characterization uh, tours as well. And I would just add that, you know, in terms of Corteva AgriSciences, they've, that's one thing that they've been very adamant about in, in, in our merger and the coming together with these multiple companies is keeping boots on the ground in the field next to producers like yours, like yourself. So, you know, that way we're, we're available to answer those questions. We're available to work with our local sales team and, uh, you know, meet the needs of the, the guys in this, this region. So.